of the genetic revolution will shape uh, your pupils' lives. Uh, we're just at the start in the first two minutes, actually. We already have salmon that will grow to four times their normal length in 12 months with the use of human genes. Uh, we're educating for longer life. The big question is how long? I wonder if you know how long your pupils are actually going to live. At the moment, today, in the United States, there are 75,000 people over the age of 100. But in the next five years or six, that will rise to 140,000 centenarians. In fact, I'd like to revise the definition of a senior citizen as someone who's over the age of 100. I think everyone under that is in their second life. You know what? Adolescence used to be not to 18. Childhood, not to 18. If you notice, it's now not to 35. That's, they, well, if you, because they still wanted to come back to have you pay for the second or the third degree. And when they get into trouble, they bring the laundry home at the age of 33, right? And people are having their children later and later, which for me is a sign of adulthood. So, because uh, now they have to work because they've got responsibilities. Up until that time, they were playing around, thinking about careers, settling down. But now the big things come. So, in fact, what have we got? A kind of extended childhood apprenticeship and more and more education going on through second, third, and fourth degrees up until, let's say, the age of, um, uh, let's say, well, let's say, uh, yeah, say 30. And then we've got first lifers, 30 to 65. And then second lifers, 65 to 100. And that's it. So people suddenly realize, hey, I've retired, but man, I'm bored out of my brains. I'm going to start another business. And that's exactly what's happening all across America. It's not just because they're poor, it's because they're restless. And you know what? If they don't start businesses, what do they do? They start charitable foundations. They give time to the Red Cross. They go and, they go and join the Rotary Club. They do anything other than just sit and play golf. Or, because actually, it's a fundamental part of human nature is this issue of purpose, which comes through looking to add value to those around us. Um, so, here's another issue. When will your students actually start feeling old? Put your hands up if you know that you're biologically at least a decade younger than your parents were at the same age. Put your hands up. Okay. What about your, what about your students? Now, here are some issues about aging. Did you know? Did you know that we already have... Did you know... Steady. <laughs> did, did you... Did you know that we already have the technology to grow new replacement teeth for you inside your own mouth using your own tissue? Put your hands up if you knew that. We're already starting to do it in animals. Did you know that we have the technology already, in fact it started here at Harvard and also in London, we already have the technology to rebuild your heart after a heart attack using your bone tissue? Put your hands up if you knew that. Uh, did you know that we have the technology to repair the brain of someone who's had a stroke? Animal studies are in advanced stages using your own tissue. Uh, did you know that we now have the technology to repair the spinal cord using your own tissue? The first studies have, have already begun. Uh, someone has already written to me from America, who's had this from, from here, has already had it done with good success. Um, and did you know where we get these brain cells from to help repair your brain? Up your nose. There's a little bit of your brain, there's a tiny hole in your skull, and there's a little bit of your brain that comes down through it. It's your smelling center. It's the bit that you smell with. And as you get older, uh, put your hands up. If you, know, if, you, if you had a smelly cheese in your house, and your kids are coming and say, Oh man, take that cheese out, I can't live in this house anymore. It's too smelly. What's happened is, it's because your, your brain cells in your nose are starting to deteriorate. So you need stronger and stronger smells to, get smells to give any kind of flavor at all. And meanwhile, your, you know, your grandchildren sort of are absolutely appalled because they can't, <laughs> it's, it sort of totally overwhelms their smell center, right? Well, if you, if you get it, what you can do is you can put an instrument, a surgical instrument, up your nose, and we can take away the smell center. Sorry about that, but inside that, it's stuffed full of adult stem cells, which could be used to repair brain tissue or spinal cord, or in fact, develop into various other tissues as well. Amazing what's going on here. I'm telling you the past, you tell me tomorrow. I'm not here to tell you the future, you tell me the future. I just wanted to confront us with what we already know about the past. What would you give me for a drug that did that?
it's called, it's made by a company called Alteon. It's in clinical trials right now. And what it does is it removes the blood pressure problem permanently. It restores the natural elasticity of your arteries and does it very successfully in mice and rats. And it lasts, you take it for four weeks and it lasts for hopefully a decade. A L T E O N. <laughs> I have no financial interest in this organization. Okay, listen, this is really important for your pupils. And it's for someone to teach them in class. Uh, this drug works in mice and rats. And it not only does that, but it increases the elastic uh, elasticity of the mice and rat skin. In fact, the mouse or the rat gets a total body lift. It's not just the face where the wrinkles go, but also even the tail. You know how they... <laughs> I know, at this point you're thinking, whoa. <laughs> Listen, you can go and look at the studies yourself. Just type in LT and onto Google and go and have a look. Um, I'll tell you how it works if you want. Do you want to know how it works? Okay. This is, right. This, uh, 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 yeah, and then I'll tell you the bad news. Okay. Um, this, uh, there are, oh gosh. We're, we're going to have to be very quick. Um, layers of elastin slide against each other. That's, that's, that's how things stretch, okay? When sugar molecules get gummed in there, it's like chewing gum, they can't do that. This drug removes that, the, those sugar molecules and releases them into the bloodstream so the elastin starts to slide again and you eat the sugar as food. Ingenious. After you give it for four weeks, the effect has gone, uh, it has happened and you can stop the drug for a decade. In these mice and rats, they discovered uh, that if you tied weights onto the tail of an arthritic rat, which is two years old, that's, 90, you know, that's about 60 for a rat, a two years old rats with, with, with blood pressure problems. You tie weights and the, rat, the rat's tail will snap. It's a dead rat. The rat's tail will snap like tissue. But if you give the drug, you can add weights and the, the uh, tail stretches, take the weights off, doing the tail goes back. So they restore the elasticity of the skin. Uh, listen, my friends, it has some limited clinical effect, it seems, on those with severe heart disease, but it does not affect human skin yet. The point I'm making is this. I've just shown you a few things. A 15-year-old in your class has a life expectancy at the moment of about 80, uh, another uh, 70 years in America. They're an upper socio-demographic group. Believe me, they have more years than the average. Okay? Uh, they have a life expectancy of another 70 years. My friends, I want to ask you this. Put your hands up if you think that medicine could offer that child at least an extra decade using some of these kinds of technologies. At some point in the next 60 years, put your hands up. Now, my friends... Uh, we, are on a situ we are a very, very significant time in human history. I haven't got time to dwell on it, but your actuarial forecasts of how long you and your friends and your family and your pupils are going to live are obviously wrong. And you know that, and so does everybody else. The government can't talk about it very much, because if they do, then the balance sheets of corporate America disappear. And that's a problem. Because you start increasing even three years onto General Motors, average life expectancy of their staff, and you can imagine what happens. Um, we have animals that don't age. We know that there's some whales that don't age in the normal way, just like sturgeons and turtles. It's a very interesting area. My friends, watch out. This is all going to be happening in the lifetime of the people in your class.